Both Samsung Internet and Google Chrome are available on Android. What features does one have over the other? In this video, we'll compare the two. So, let's get started. Starting with the layout, we find many differences. Google Chrome has Discover on the New tab page, covering mostly news. Samsung Internet has a quick access section with some websites that we can edit. The tab menu and settings row at the bottom, while in Chrome, we find those on the top. I think Samsung Internet is better here because it makes it easier to browse the internet with one hand. Another feature it has is dark mode sites. What it does is it switches the website's colors to darker ones. This makes the whole app dark. The actual app's dark mode is controlled by the phone's theme settings. On Chrome, we can change that regardless of the phone's theme. Overall, I give this round to Samsung Internet. Okay, this round forces me to use Google Chrome. Samsung has yet to officially release a Windows app. Google Chrome is available everywhere, but its opponent is only on Android right now. Last year, Samsung released a Windows version, which is still available somewhere, but the official Windows Store page was removed right after going live. I think it will come back soon, but until that happens, Samsung Internet can only sync between Android devices. Google Chrome, on the other hand, can sync all the supported platforms, making it the winner of this round. Both handle the private mode differently. Google Chrome is like ordinary browsers where you can browse normally as well as privately at the same time. When you exit the incognito mode, all the data is deleted. Samsung Internet on the other hand lets you browse in one mode at a time. If you activate secret mode, the app will always be in the secret mode until you turn it off. There's no difference between the browsing but uh, when the secret mode is turned off, your history and other data is deleted. In terms of the winner of this round, it depends on what you want. There's no clear winner here. The next round is talking about passwords and suggestions. Google Chrome uses your Google account. It has Google password manager that is accessible on most platforms. When you sign up, it suggests a new password. And if you use that password or even a different one, it saves it. We can edit and see those passwords at any time. Samsung internet is almost the same with one extra feature. It doesn't suggest passwords, but the passwords are saved in Samsung Pass. We can see and edit them at any time. However, the app asks for your biometrics or PIN every time you use a password. I like this feature because no one can access my accounts without my fingerprints. And it only takes a second to put in my thumb or show my face. Next, we'll do a couple of tests. First is the battery test. For this, I played a video on YouTube and then browsed the web for 4 minutes. Samsung Internet consumed 2% of the battery, whereas Chrome consumed 1%. The test wasn't big, but this should give us an indication that Samsung Internet uses slightly more battery. The next is the download test. Both browsers are based on Chromium, so I don't expect one to perform better. But for this video, let's try downloading a file. Samsung Internet took 2 minutes and 26 seconds to download it, and Google Chrome took 2 minutes and 29 seconds. This time, Samsung Internet won. Before we end this video, I'd like to talk about some of the additional features. Samsung Internet has add-ons. It has journal ad blockers and add-ons for Samsung devices that can help in different ways. The list is not that big, but still, something is better than nothing. The app has also adopted AI. Its browser assist can summarize and translate pages. Although it only does those two things, it does a really good job. Next, when you watch a video, it displays the full screen and picture-in-picture -picture buttons. Lastly, while browsing a website, if you have an app installed for that site, it will show a button to open that page in the app. Let's move to Chrome now. We can quickly send tabs to sync devices. Tap here and choose your device. The machine must be turned on to get the notification of the web page. Second, Google Chrome can save your addresses. Those are saved from your browsing history. You can then enable autofill to automatically fill addresses while shopping online. So which one is for you? There's no straight answer. If you browse the internet on multiple devices, Google Chrome is the best choice. It's simple and fast and has all the basic options. In terms of privacy, both are the same, so I can't comment on that. Samsung Internet has a better layout and comes with a side dark mode. It also has add-ons and Samsung Pass that make it slightly more powerful than Google Chrome. If you mainly browse the web on mobile or your computer browsing is independent of your mobile browsing, go with Samsung Internet. Anyway, this is all for this video. Thanks for watching. I cover mobile apps and stuff. 
So if you want to know more, follow my channel. I'll catch you next time. Take care.